Hi guys, my name is Johnny, and this is my first impression video of the APCO F3. The APCO F3 is APCO's intermediate cross-country wing, which aims to be a wing for people who want a good cross-country wing with better handling and more speed than your beginner wing, but at the same time be very stable and safe. I had the chance this summer to borrow this wing for a couple of weeks to test fly it, and then I also decided to make this first impression video. This is not the full review because I didn't have a chance to fly this that much. So this is just the first impression, but I will go through it as thoroughly as possible. I borrowed this wing from Fly One here in Sweden, but I want to make clear I didn't get anything from Fly One. They didn't pay me anything to do this video. I just asked them if it was okay and they said yes. In this video, I will try to give you as much information as possible and maybe help you decide if this might be the wing for you. But first, let's go over to APCO's webpage to check out the different sizes, weight range and what APCO is writing about this wing. Here you can see APCO's lineup of Paramount wings and the F3 is located here in the middle. And it starts as an intermediate wing to cross country and even a little bit of competition. The APCO F3 comes in three different sizes. 22, 24 and 26 square meters. The weight range for foot start is from 70 kilograms up to 140 and if you're flying a trike up to 165 kilograms. The speed according to APCO with trimmer closed is about 36 to 40 kilometers per hour with neutral trim 43 to 47. I was doing about 48, 49 uh, and I was flying the 22 and I'm about 115 kilograms, so just up at the top of the weight range here. With the trimmers open, according to APCO, 50 to 56, I was doing 57, 58, something like that. And I didn't have a chance to fly it with speed bar, but according to APCO, about 69 kilometers per hour. So you won't if you want to read more about the APCO F3, just visit APCO Aviation slash F3 and you can read a little bit more about it. And as always, the first thing you do when you get a new wing, you go out to the field and you kite it. And I have to say, I got really impressed with this wing. I laid it out as I usually do. I straighten the lines and pull a little bit of ace and it pops straight up. It was really easy to kite, you just use your brake and tip steering a little bit to keep it over your head and it would just stay there. You also get a good understanding of the height of the brake handles so you know that when you're gonna launch the wing for the first time. So it's always a good idea to go out and kite before you do your first flight. My first launch attempt on this wing was not a success. I pulled way too hard on the ace and got the frontal collapse. But this was my fault entirely, not the wings. So every single takeoff after this one has been successful. In the reverse launch with this wing is very, very easy. You just pull just so slightly on the ace, it pops up, you give it the brake check, you turn around, squeeze the throttle and off you go. In the kneel wind condition, you have to run that slightly bit faster if you compare it to your beginner glider, especially if you are up at the upper end of the weight range. I'm at 115 to 120 kilograms on the 22 and I had no issue launching this wing whatsoever. The first thing I noticed when I got up in the air is how stable this wing is. I can really tell APCO has been working hard to get this wing to be as stable as possible for the intermediate pilot, but at the same time have good speed and good turning capabilities. The wing tracks really well and doesn't oscillate much at all after you've done the turn, so I have to say that I find this wing to be really easy to fly. It gave me a lot of confidence and I had no problem putting my brake handles up on the magnets and release the trimmers. It will react a little bit more on weight shift compared to your beginner wing, so keep that in mind. This wing will turn better than your beginner wing, but not as much as I thought it would. But if you combine some weight shift, tip steering and brake, it will start turning really well and it's not hard to get the wing tip under the horizon. So it's more dynamic and more responsive, but without being difficult to fly. The speed range on this wing is really good. And as you know, I'm about 115 to 120 kilograms all up. 
and flying the 22 square meter I was going about 48 km per hour with the trimmer set to neutral and about 56 to 57 km per hour fully trimmed out. So combined with the good stability and good speed I think this will be a great cross country wing. Landing this wing is not difficult at all. It has good brake feel and good flare, but if you choose a wing where you are at the upper end of the weight range, you will come in a little bit faster than you might be used to with your beginner wing, so keep that in mind. If you know or have practiced building a little more energy on the final when you come in for the landing and then bleed the energy off and then flare at the right time, you can land this wing really slowly. You just start by slowly applying brake and just before the wing starts to descend you do a full flare and the landing will be perfect and you don't need to take many steps to come to a stop. This clip is from Upco's own video, I will leave a link down in the video description. So this is not me flying but I wanted to share this because you will get an idea about the safety of this wing and how well it recovers. Upco's test pilot is doing some different collapses in this video and the wing seems to recover very well and it looks like the wing has a lot of built-in safety. But I have not done any collapses of my own so I don't know exactly how the wing behaves in these situations. So who do I think this wing is for? Well first and foremost I really like this wing and I think it's a great wing for the advanced beginner to intermediate pilot who is looking for a fast wing that is stable but at the same time has good turning capabilities. The pure beginner should not go for this as your first wing even though it's stable and easy to fly it reacts to your input faster and you can easier put yourself in a bad situation. And then, of course, the pure acro and slalom pilot might find this to be a little sluggish, but it's not really aimed for those pilots anyway. Hopefully, this video helped you decide if this might be your next wing. If you want to add something or have questions, please write down below and I will try to respond. I would also like to make clear that I'm not a professional, but just a happy intermediate pilot who likes to test stuff and learn new things. I want to say thank you to Fly1 that gave me the chance to fly this wing and test it. I will leave a link to Fly1's homepage down in the video description. So if you are interested in an APCO wing, please contact Fly1 and I'm sure they will help you. So thank you guys for watching this video. Fly safe, have a great day and I'll see you in the future.